Good YouTube, Carify King here, Aqua Life Baby, you already know. Today, guys, uh, I'm going to finally bring you my long awaited Aqua Force combo videos. Today's combo is going to be featured from my Thavas Aqua Force Stride deck. Now, um, as a disclaimer, guys, for this combo video and other combo videos in the future, uh, all these combos are hypothetical. What I mean by that is that you're not always going to have the perfect th setup, be just bringing reality into this. You're not always going to have these perfect setups. Uh, you know, you have to take in what you're drawing into, what you're not drawing into, what deck your opponent's playing with, triggers applied, and things of that nature. And um, you got to take into the account, you know, just pretty much the overall state of the game in that situation. But if you see the combo, Combo, uh, and you can go for it then um, you know then it's there to be had but just 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 being realistic guys you're not always going to have this field set up and you know don't don't think that you're always going to have the perfect setup because you're not just 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 saying that you, you're not always going to have the perfect setup or the perfect situation to get certain combos off in uh, so this combo guys I like to call it um, my Kelpie combo number one. Uh, the reason why I call it Kelpie combo number one is because it is uh, my bread and butter combo for my Thavas Aqua Force Stride deck. Uh, what do I mean by bread and butter? If you guys play fighting games, you should know, but that's pretty much you know your go-to combo, something that you do quite regularly. You get really good value off of, um, and it's pretty safe and things of that nature. So uh, this is my bread and butter combo, uh, first stride bread and butter combo for my Thavas Aqua Force Stride deck. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so now the reason why I call it Kelpie Combo Number One or Kelpie Combo in general is because it involves the new starter for Thavis, uh, Kelpie Rider Matrix. You guys know I've been playing this card since he came out. I really like this card. So what he does is, if you guys don't know, is when you're uh, at GB1 Wave Three, when you're Grade Three or Greater Vanguard with Thavis attacks. Um, you get to push him into the soul superior call Thavis from your deck, and at the end of the turn, you get to bounce that Thavis that you called back from the uh, from from the deck back to your uh, into your hand. So what he does is he allows us to. Um you know, you know, uh, the reason why I really like this combo, I should say, is because it leaves our field uh, pretty empty, pretty barren. So field destruction, field control, you know, has a, you know, a less desirable field to, you know, control. And uh, it helps us out in the defense department, you know, so that we don't get control as well as we're only committing one card from the hand. So due to us committing one card from the hand, that means that we're going to be saving up more cards. We're going to get off a nice, good four attack value uh, while just committing one card. And at the end of the turn, we're going to get some nice guaranteed strike fodder thanks to his ability as well as we're going to be killing off some units so this is the, so i really like this combo is my bread and butter combo now in order to get this combo off you know you have to have him as a, as a rear guard you have to have him as your starter but you also want to move him to the rear guard not behind your vanguard because uh usually your opponent usually kind of no guards the vanguard column anyways a good so, you know uh majority of the time whatever it is but this guy also sets up a booster so him being on the side helps out with you know your early game grade two if you want to call like uh you want to call a title assault in front of it then be like nine and then nine again or things or you put a trigger on him then you know it's nine fourteen whatever it is um you know so i just like to call him the side but in order for this combo to really work you, you know you want to do that so let's say we strode and we're gonna we're gonna start off the combo going into a uh, title board for you know with one with one count with one counter blast so far um, obviously, we have two counter blasts. It does open up, you know, different options. Now, this combo can be completed with three cards: uh, Magnum, Adelaide, and Tidal Assault. But the reason why I'm not going to really show you Adelaide is because Adelaide is not really a staple. Magnum, and Tidal, and Thavis deck are really our staple cards. So we, so you know, these are the type of cards that you're going to, that you're mostly likely going to see and most likely um, going to get off for this combo. So obviously, there's two different versions. Magnum Assault is the one that costs the Counter Blast, but is a bit stronger. Tidal Assault is doesn't cost the Counter Blast, but is a little bit weaker. So we're going to start off with Magnum now. Now, um, now, the reason between going into either title board or Aristotle really depends on what your opponent has, you know, on their board, what you're trying to get rid of, uh, and, and things of that nature. Um, if, if, it's, if it's like, you know, your opponent has like a Laurel on board or a starter that you have to kill and they have uh, too many targets where because Th Thavis gives them the option and they have too many targets to kill off, then you can probably just do Aristotle. But we'll talk about him in a second. So let's, you know, you know if your opponent does have, um, a, you know, a small board, this is very nice instead. Now, we're not going to be looking at... <coughs> 
We're not going to be looking at, you know, how much attack power the certain column is. We're going to be looking at minimal guarding. How many cards are we going to take out of our opponent's hand at minimum when they're when they're guarded? We're going to think about having one card guards, two card guards, and things of that. And, you know, things, that's how I've been thinking. Now, how many is not how much power is each attack. It's how, you know, with my attack patterns, how many cards am I going to be forcing out of my opponent's hand when... Um, you know, when, when I'm doing my attacks, you know, that's what I'm looking at. So, and let, we're not going to sit here and apply and, and do whole and do trigger application with mathematics and things like that, because, you know, triggers are random and it really will change a lot of different things. So, and these combos can be extended, but I'm going to show you the basics of them, you know, if you do not, um, you know, and I'll show you the extension combos later on. Um, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to attack with, uh, attack with Magnum. Counter Blast 1, Restand. So attacking with Magnum for 14, that's a one card guard. His Restand, that's a two card, then that's two cards we're gonna get. So it's another one card guard. Then we're gonna attack with uh Tidal Bore. We're gonna attack with Tidal Bore, push this into the soul, and grab a Thavis out of and grab a Thavis out of the deck. Alright, so now since Tidal Bore is attacking, since it's 26, then your opponent's gonna either drop at minimum two cards, two 10k shields for a one to pass or perfect guard you, uh, dropping two cards. So, you know, let's just say if our opponent does perfect guard us. So that's two cards there. So we did two cards from two attacks in this column, two cards from this. So that's four cards that we could potentially force out of our opponent's hand. Then we do our triple drive. Okay, we're not gonna be that sacky, but yes, uh, we, we, you know, we do our triple drive, whatever it is. Now we have this attack. Now that's another card that our opponent's gonna force out because 11K on the Vanguard. And then we have our Thavis' Stride Break ability, which kills off another card on the board. Um, so that means that we force out two from two from this column, two from here, so that's four, one from here, and then a free guaranteed kill. So that's pretty much we've gotten rid of at least six cards from opponent if our opponent is trying to guard everything. Uh, obviously triggers applied and you know you, you factor that in, not all of this not all the attacks are going to go through. But I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Now, um at the end of the turn goes away thanks to Mitros we got we got an extra attack off he created a fourth battle and then now we have now bouncing back to hand now we have some strife hard now you look at the field it's a nice L shape nothing for our opponent to control blow up anything like that so we have a nice column the card call anything free obviously against chaos universe you know the, you know chaos universe is like nope put a card down locked right here but we're not talking we're not thinking about chaos universe no more we're just thinking about what we what we have for our opponent not to hit and then we have magnum here magnum is one of those cards that's definitely going to be getting targeted uh early on our if you know if your opponent's played against alcohol force before they know what magnum assault does you know how important he is and um so on and so forth from that point on uh, now I'm going to show you, you know, uh, the weaker version. <clears throat> All right, guys. So the weaker version does involve title assault, but um, it but, but does, since it does involve title assault, it does open us up to actually, you know, with one counter blast at least. Anyways, it does open us up to you know using title board or Aristotle. Well, we're gonna we can use we'll use Aristotle for this one. Uh, That's what I did in the tournament yesterday. And I'll have a term report uh, later on. So yes, it's weaker because he will restand swing at four. But remember, what I told you I've always told you guys with Alka Force, sometimes it's not about you know every attack hitting sometimes it's just you need to get to that fourth battle get to the number of battles you need to get to in order for you to in order for you to execute your attack plans your plan and have your vanguards doing what they need you know doing what they need to do um so you know that's why you know you guys know title assault is like my favorite rear guard and like i said sometimes it's not about him always hitting thing it's the fact that he enables an extra attack that allows our vanguard and everything else that follows to go off so what we'll do is we'll attack with we'll attack with title nice 14 poke the 14 poke is still very very nice we're gonna either force an intercept a card from their hand or a damage but let's just say it's a nice one card guard okay one card guard free restand and then we're gonna do you know do a nice poke and then do a poke attack or just a you know a whiff whatever so we're going to tag with our vanguard once again we're going to um throw mitros in the soul and grab thavis from the deck home to the field again now now we call him to the field now with aristotle's ability we can counter blast one blow up that starter blow up blow up the blow you know blow up that important oops hit the camera uh blow up that important uh 
blow up that important card that, that we need to get off the field. So we get so we did that. Now that's still a two card guard, either a perfect guard or at least at least a two ten k two ten k shield for a one to pass. Two ten k shield for one to pass and strike form is very dangerous, but some people do it each to their each to their own. So um, so we do that. We get our we get our triple drive. Uh, and so we do we do a triple drive doesn't really matter right now now we're gonna attack with Thalvis now we're gonna be either forcing we're gonna probably force out a guard from their hands since it's 11 on 11 and then Thalvis is stride break ability and then we get a nice free retire so we got at least one card guard here we got a two card guard here so that's uh that's three that's three cards but we get a guaranteed kill off of something um so we just neg we just neg them a card in the field then we get a nice attack off forcing out another card here and then also thousand striper ability killing off um, another card so we did we were able to kill off two cards off their board with you know with this you can do title board with this as well um if our opponent has like one card on the board and uh you know like their starter or something and it's just you know you, you want to kill it off uh pretty pretty easily without using his counter blast skill you know that it's really just the the difference between these two is really just depending on you know what counter blast you have available to you Ooh, hit the camera again what camera um what how many counter blasts you have available to you what the state of the game is what the field situation is how many cards on your opponent's field what does your opponent have on the field that you want to kill off i'm destroying this camera uh and you know things like that um but like I said, these combos can be extended. Obviously, you know, with more counter blasts, you can do, uh, you know, you can do different things. But, um, yeah, it really just depends on the situation between what you want to decide to go into as your first stride. But like I said, really, this combo is this com the combo is born from having Mitros available. Uh, avail available to you um, on one on one of the rear guard circles because he enables that fourth attack. And again, guys, even if, don't get discouraged if this last attack that you if this last attack that you superior call out you know um, doesn't hit. It, it if if it doesn't hit, it doesn't really matter because you have to think about it, like okay, it doesn't hit, but. If my opponent has a rear guard on the board, and you know, obviously, as long as it doesn't have resist and, uh, resistance in the legal target card to target, anyways, we're think about it as well. We're not going to hit the vanguard, but we're still going to get a card off the opponent's board. We're still we're still we're still killing a uh, rear guard on the opponent's board, so we can think of that attack as going at the rear guard for a guaranteed kill. If you're if the attack does it is going to hit the vanguard, like if our opponent does perfect guard this, that means that our opponent will commit two cards perfect guard from this. And then this attack, they're either going to take it, they're going to guard it, and they're still going to lose a card on their board. Um, it's another reason why I like uh, Saber Flow Sailor because she worked well. Even if the attack doesn't hit, we're still going to get a guaranteed kill off on a rear guard, then retire and draw two cards. But I'll show you with more combos with her uh, later on. All right, but that's the car fight. But that's the uh, that's the combo. That's the Kelpie combo number one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about me destroying the camera. Um, definitely like, comment, subscribe. I'll be coming at you guys with another combo video, and uh, I'll give you guys a local support as well. All right, Carver King, and I'm out. Peace.